Welcome to Audit Archive, where we run you through some of the most questionable and rather atrocious police encounters. Today, we're looking at a ridiculous case where a total of eight police officers harassed a few auditors who were traveling in one vehicle by watching their live stream and following them to eventually initiate a traffic stop and violate their rights out of retaliation. In a video posted on September 12, 2023, a well-known auditor, namely Mr. Josh, had just conducted an audit at the Chattanooga Police Department in Tennessee. He was a passenger in a vehicle with his fellow auditors, who were all driving back after a long evening. However, they noticed that a few patrol vehicles had been trailing behind them from all the way back at the police department. As expected, the officers initiated their lights, signaling the driver of the vehicle to pull over. Officer Zeigler with the Chattanooga Police Department promptly made contact with the occupants of the vehicle and explained his reasoning for the traffic stop. Things were immediately suspicious, and it became clear that something was up. This entire incident was captured on Mr. Josh's stream, which had 400 viewers watching live at the time. Swear to God, I'll put a complaint on you, and my sole purpose will be to only take your job. Here we go, guys. Oh, I'm, in, I'm invoking Arizona v. Gant, Arizona v. Johnson, Pipe v. Nevada. He hasn't committed any infractions at all, so he actually doesn't even have to ID. I'm not going to show his face, I'm going to show the officer. So let's see what's going on here today. This looks like retaliation to me, guys. This looks like retaliation. So unless he can state an infraction, he doesn't even have to pull out his ID. He can't just come up and say license or registration. He has to state what the reason is. Hey, guys. Tell me hey, you're you good. What's the reason we're being pulled over today? A plate cover. Yeah, you can lower the window. There's a plate cover? So it's not because we were just filming at your police station, Officer Ziegler. Okay. First and foremost, it's important to understand when an officer is legally allowed to pull a vehicle over. Typically, when an officer pulls over a driver, it's considered a detention. The driver hasn't been arrested, but nevertheless isn't free to leave. Where a typical traffic detention is concerned, officers generally must have reasonable suspicion that the driver or someone in the vehicle is committing or has committed a crime. The next question that arises is whether a driver who is detained under a traffic stop must provide the officers with ID when asked. Note that Tennessee does not have a stop and identify statute, meaning that police can't just ask you for ID out of nowhere. But if they believe that you have committed, are committing, or about to be involved in a crime and have the legal basis to investigate, then they can ask. In other words, as long as a traffic stop is justified, the officers can demand ID and you would be obliged to comply. Now we can discuss the legality of this stop. Officer Zeigler claimed that the reason he pulled them over was because of the license plate cover, implying that it was illegal to use one. According to Tennessee Code Section 55-4-110, it stated that every registration plate shall at all times be in a place and position to be clearly visible and shall be maintained free from foreign materials and in a condition to be clearly legible. No tinted materials may be placed over a license plate, even if the information upon the license plate is not concealed. Branching off of this, it's understood that you cannot have tinted license plate covers in Tennessee. You can, however, have plate frames, as long as it doesn't obstruct letters or serial numbers. Taking all of these factors into account, it would be safe to conclude that this was an unlawful traffic stop, since no crime had been committed. The license plate did not constitute any evidence of a crime whatsoever. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, do you mind if I step out and take a look at the plate cover? Uh, I just didn't, uh, I don't have to consent to any illegal searches or seizures. Uh, it's, you're here to protect the public, yeah, not- you're gonna come out of the car, we're just gonna pat you down for weapons and that's I don't consent right? to any searches or seizures. Oh, we're not searching you, we're just gonna pat you down for I'm, I'm not consenting to it, but don't I don't want to hit him when I get out with the door. You think you're dangerous? If you, you think I'm armed and dangerous? I believe so. You, but what, what, so what probable cause do you have to believe that I'm armed and dangerous? You want to get out of your vehicle for our safety. We don't want to. You're get here to officers. serve the public, not okay. officer safety. That. It's public safety. Do you have your registration? Yes, sir. So plate cover. So we're gonna take a look at this plate cover. You can take a look at that after. Yeah. Name and badge number. Uh, officer Alec Bez 904. All right, because I'm just want, trying to figure out exactly. So we're not gonna call the PD, mm -hmm. and we're not gonna ask them what, what you guys are up to. Mm -hmm. You got any weapons on you? I should know about. Uh, police officer. Yes, I do. You're a police officer. Yeah. Is there? Have you been drinking this evening? You go and uh, speak with this officer. Do you mind if I conduct just a, a quick pat search for my safety? Okay. That's okay? So you gave me consent to, to conduct a search? I'll be out here. Um, just the precinct. I mean, we don't... Yeah, we... What are you trying to... I don't... 
picking them up. Lord picking them up and we said, trying to get back home and just stopped because my name was bothering me. So. Okay. Right. So am I am I detained? Am I detained, officer? See ya. Yeah. Retaliatory stop, guys. There we go. Let's see if we have uh, Officer Coleman. The is he here? That looks like is that Coleman right there? That looks like Coleman. Uh-oh, guys, you know you're live with 400 people watching you, right? You know, with a reason for a stop, and then the only way I can get out of the car safely, he believes I'm armed and dangerous. What probable cause does he have to believe that I'm armed and dangerous? First of all, if I was armed, it's my Second Amendment right to retain a firearm to protect my constitutional rights. So he would have no reason to ask for that anyways in a, in a traffic stop, we're saying, for a... Uh, for a plate cover, makes him believe we're armed and dangerous. He's here to serve and protect the public. He should be worried about public safety, not officer safety. So how about this? Since they don't give you real badges, why don't you take your Velcro patch off and beat it? Whatever you take ticket you give, I'm gonna pay for it. And I'm gonna fight it and I'm gonna win. And then I'm gonna fly back here for the hearing. How about them apples? I shoot frames per second, just so you know. Did you guys know that? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I shoot frames per second. Is that what scares you? You got, you got how many guns, clips, and tasers do you guys have? Bear in mind that according to the Fourth Amendment of the United States Constitution, the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrant shall issue, but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. This right is usually overridden by a lawful detainment, where officers can be legally allowed to search and seize you. But once again, remember that this detainment is unlawful, which means that none of the officers had a right to search or seize anyone in the vehicle. By extension, Mr. Josh was well within his right to step out of the vehicle too. Something ridiculous worth pointing out, which also exposed Officer Zeigler's tyranny, is the fact that he claimed, out of nowhere, that Mr. Josh could be armed and dangerous. This was obviously an act of retaliation, since Officer Zeigler certainly didn't appreciate the auditors preventing him from violating their rights. He was clearly unhappy about that. Note that there were now several more units at the scene, and it makes us wonder why such extreme measures were being taken for an alleged license plate violation, which we will now confirm as 100% bogus. Are we all set to go? Yep. Don't don't infringe on my First Amendment right. Alright, so I can get out of the car then. Excellent. We're not detained anymore? Absolutely can go. Alright, so I don't want to bump into you, so you're live. So could you step back, please? You don't have any uh we're not sending the searches or seizures. I got a piece. See you're making you're making her, you're making her nervous because you guys are being I'm gonna close the door. Look how nervous you're making us. Yeah, you're being, you guys are should be ashamed of yourself. Guys, no license plate cover. No, where's the license plate cover? This is a license plate cover. That's a license plate cover. That holds. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna see your cruiser. If you got one, you're getting tickets now. Let's check them all. One, two, three. License plate cover. I gotta do tickets here, guys. License plate cover. Take off the badge. You should be ashamed of yourself. Is this a supervisor? Got to check for license, license plate cover. You a supervisor? No? You're just going to sit here and let people violate rights? Get the f out of here. All right, so one of these guys is a license plate cover. Hey, guys, listen. Officer, officer, that's not covering the license plate or the numbers. Number two, I'll give you 100 bucks if you smile for the thumbnail. Because you're going to be famous. Here, you can take it. 100 bucks. What about you, officer? What about you, huh? No license plate cover, but we're pulled for license plate covers. Where's the sergeant? The sergeant's in the Yeah, take my camera. Take my camera. Stay over here. The sergeant's in the black and white one, right? the camera off the person we're with. This is what they do to You want me to show her? You want me to show her, Josh, or no? No. Oh. As seen in the footage, the officers had no choice but to release them from unlawful detainment. And what's interesting is that Officer Zeigler did not write a ticket for the alleged violation. Instead, he gave the driver a written warning. This was likely because he knew very well that nobody had committed a crime at all. 
Mr. Josh made this even more clear by observing the license plate himself, which was visibly not obstructing any of the letters or serial numbers. Officer Zeigler had essentially violated everyone's rights by detaining them without a reason. This made the female passenger in the vehicle suffer from an apparent panic attack. She was crying out of horror and requested an ambulance to come check her out. As a matter of fact, even one of the many patrol vehicles had a license plate covered, making this ordeal that much more ridiculous. All right, where the f is the sergeant, guys? All right, 5884. 1322, 4928, 2777, I've been following you around all night. Come on. Yep, roll on the window, sir. Do you have anything in your car I need to know about, sir? Do you have any weapons, knives, drugs, and bombs? What's that, sir? If I'm free to go, I'm free to stay, right? You're the sergeant, right? You're the sergeant. You're the one that condoned and conducted all this, right? This is your leadership right here, right? This is leadership by example, right, sir? Answer my question, sir. You're amenable to me. How about you? Would you like 100 bucks for a thumbnail? What about 200? You want 200 bucks? I'll give you 200 bucks. 100 bucks right now if you smile. Because your face is going to be in the paper, so you better get used to smiling. So take the 100 bucks and smile. Get the out of here. Guess what? Feelings don't trump rights and you guys are violating something today. You got a problem with it? Violate my rights because I guarantee you, you'll regret that. You close your mouth, you dismissed. Now, this is where the officers get exposed in the worst way possible. Mr. Josh and a fellow auditor found out that one of the officers actually had their live stream running on a mobile phone, meaning that the officer essentially used his live stream to track them down and pull them over. Note that this could very well be the truth, considering the fact that the auditors were previously at the police department conducting an audit. Watch as the officers get exposed and confronted. Let's see what he's got on his camera. We'll get all their personal info, that's fine. We'll just get all the info they got displayed on their cameras. Oh, oh, your lives off here, right here, your lives, are you talking? Don't, 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 don't right. breach the window. Am I live? You can do that. Oh you my God. <laughs> Guys, shh, shh, Will. Uh, Will's on here asking questions. Thank you, Alice Flowers. Hey, be careful. Quiet. Guys, here's how we prove the retaliation. You f Listen to my voice. Listen to my voice. I'm going to yell loudly so we can hear it. Ew. Ew. You hear that, guys? His phone's right there. Talk He's listening to us live. So, so you watched us live and you pulled us over for retaliation. Stop your lying and get to the truth now. Can you at least not lie for 10 seconds? Did you? Not Lie. Yeah, not lie. Okay, is there anything I can do for you guys? Yes. Drop it, give me 50. Drop it, give me 50, yeah. We're just going to wait here until the ambulance can get here for her, and then we'll be on our way. How about right? this? You've already Why? been here for the morning. So, so is that, that, a, is that a personal right? phone or a, or a business phone? I'm just dealing with this medical No, now you're going to answer my question. Is that a personal phone or a business phone? It doesn't matter, because I'm going to fill out a FOIA request, and I'm going to get the logs for that I'm phone. I'm going to fill out a USC 1983. You know what it is? It's an issue of three scumbags armed and dangerous. I need to know who's driving that car. Who's driving that car? I'll stick and wait to see if this one drives me. Who's driving this car? Officer, are you watching us live too, like this bag is? No? No, huh? Can you still hear me live? Guys, you want to see me echo without a mountain? Echo! Echo! According to the Chattanooga Police Department's policy manual, it's made clear that all employees, whether on or off duty, shall be governed by reasonable rules of good conduct and behavior and shall not commit any wrongful, malicious, or criminal act and the policy defines harassment as an abuse of an officer's authority by continually or arbitrarily stopping someone, aggressively questioning him or her, or by conducting an unwarranted or illegal search and seizure. Also, all officers are subject to the Law Enforcement Code of Ethics. I will never act officiously or permit personal feelings, prejudices, political beliefs, aspirations, animosities, or friendships to influence my decisions. I recognize the badge of my office as a symbol of public faith and I accept it as a public trust to be held, so long as I am true to the ethics of police service. Now, it's clear that the officers have not only violated their departmental policies, but have also gone against the very code of ethics they're supposed to stand by. Now that it was very clear that the officers had unlawfully pulled the auditors over out of retaliation by tracking them down through a malicious medium, Mr. Josh demanded a supervisor. You guys, it make you feel good scaring the wits out of citizens? 
Like, you're an idiot. You're watching me live, and you're denying that that's the reason you pulled us over for a plate cover that's not obstructing. So if I pull the statute, the plate, it's going to, I guarantee you, if it says that it can't be breaching the actual numbers like it is in almost every other state, I hope your kids starve on the street and work corners. Life's going to be pissed when you take the house with a lawsuit. You want the supervisor to come here? At this point, Mr. Josh proceeded to confront Officer Zeigler about the phone playing the auditor's live stream. He pointed out that watching a live stream while driving was basically illegal, meaning that the officer had committed a crime himself. According to Tennessee Code 55-8-199, it stated that it's illegal for a driver to hold a cell phone or mobile device with any part of their body, write, send, or read any text-based communication, reach for a cell phone or mobile device in a manner that requires the driver to no longer be in a seated driving position or properly restrained by a seatbelt, watch a video or movie on a cell phone or mobile device, and record or broadcast video on a cell phone or mobile device. Judging by this, the officer was indeed committing a crime, which was rather ironic. All right, I'm gonna get my cigarettes, so I don't mind if you watch me do it because you guys seem to fear for your safety. If you need to calm down with cigarettes, that's fine. I mean, I need to calm, look what you do to people. I didn't do that to her. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Wow, huh? I had to come all the way, and you guys started off great until Officer Coleman started getting wise with his mouth. And is this your cruiser here? Yeah, I got to drive it. it, is. Drive it so right? let me ask you a question. Who put over is, the switch hold on, the box? Hold on, is it illegal? Is it illegal to operate to use a cell phone on a hand, on handheld while you're driving? Yes, thank you. Is it illegal in Tennessee to use a phone while you're driving if it's not connected to hands-free? Yeah, I'm not using my phone. No. Okay, your phone's on right now. I'm going to have to issue you a citation today. How much does that citation cost? Yeah. How much does that citation cost, Officer Ziegler? Mm. So, guys, he just admitted that it is against the law for him to use a cell phone while he's driving. The person that we were with was so terrified of these thugs that we had to call an ambulance. She's okay? Uh, she's fine. She's looking better now, but I'd rather you ask her. Excuse me, officer. It's against the law. This is a serious but We've already checked. It's against the law to operate using a phone that's not on a hands-free device. Okay. What does the ticket normally cost for doing that? I'm just doing with the medical issue. Right. Can, so, can I see the law book? I know you carry one in the car. Hold on. Hold on. So I am just need you to give this officer a ticket here. Will you do that? I'm going to deal with the medical issue. All right. And then you'll give him a ticket. Sounds great. So Jameson's going to give Officer Ziegler a ticket today. Guys, in case you're tuning in late, he's got his cell phone playing. He's watching our live stream. No, it's not on his laptop. It's, a, it's on his personal device. Is that a plate cover? Guys, we got a plate cover here. Oh no, we got a plate cover. I'm not in the road. I'm not in the what He's not. He's not in the road. He's he's beyond the white line. So. So he's got a plate cover. So we got one officer with the hands with the device not hands free and a plate cover here today. Soon, a supervisor responded to the scene as per Mr. Josh's request, and they both engaged in a debate on whether the traffic stop was legal or not, along with a discussion on the officer who had the auditor's live stream playing on his personal mobile phone. Plus, Mr. Josh questioned the excessive nature of the traffic stop too, since there were more than six units at the scene by now. Unfortunately though, despite Mr. Josh's logical reasoning and explanation, the supervisor was rather biased and chose to side with his officers instead of openly admitting the heaps of mistakes they made. Watch as he tried to justify his officers' unlawful actions. So, firstly, we're being pulled over for an instructed plate cover. I checked the statute. The numbers, the state, all aspects visually of the plate are readable. There is no violation, which makes your reason to stop absent. Secondly, does I'm going to say need... the numbers on the statute have to be bought or does it say that any part of the tag? No, it says that none of, no, none of the official markings. So which is the county, right? Correct. There's nothing blocked. We can go take a peek, absolutely. And you can walk behind us, that's fine. And then my next issue is he's got a plate cover. And the next question is, it doesn't have to be a license plate. If it has official display, that's the same infraction we're speaking of. And this like cover, no, it's not actually blocking around the side. Cor Correct, yeah, we have nothing, no official markings blocked. My third issue is Officer Ziegler has my live stream going. Right now on his official computer. Don't worry, we'll FOIA it. But what he did is he followed us, five cruisers for a plate cover. Watch this, I want you to listen to this. I'm not gonna breach the cruiser, just listen inside. Echo! 
legal against him doing that? No, but he's using, first he's of all, a... he's using that to find our location because we were filming at your PD. Yeah, and, and you're just going to cover this after no so now, if you look, I don't want to show this. You know, and stuff. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. Sh I don't want. Well, here's the thing. You work for us, but I'm showing this to you. I'm not okay. showing the license plate to the folks. So I don't want them to see. There are absolutely no official marking, sure. state, county, or otherwise. Nothing. Nothing there. That is not a plate cover. I pulled statute, and I consulted with an attorney on a separate phone that we have access to. So the reason for your stop is invalid. So I need you to firstly. Whatever you need to do to remove the citation, then that then that's fine. I believe you said he was giving a warning, not a citation. Oh, a warning. But a warning, is that tracked in any way? Not just a verbal warning, no. Sir. No, it was written warning. Oh, well, we actually gave him a He had like a, there was a written thing, it's like a, a rect... A warning. I mean, it's not right, well, I'd like that to be removed, first of all. I'd like you to correct the officer that there was nothing here. And then lastly, this begs my question. We weren't pulled over because of an obstruction. We were pulled over because we were filming because I got it on camera. The same officer drive past us when we got in our parked vehicle. We had a point to make sure we were monitoring the speed and the directionals. And he pulled us over for something he had no reason to pull us over for lawfully. So what he did is he violated this gentleman's Fourth Amendment right to be free from illegal search and seizure. This is not a stop in ID state. There was no infraction, which gave him no legal and plausible ability to identify this driver in the first place. Well, he gave him a warning, all right? Okay, but he had no. I, but he had no right to ID him. Can I? Can I explain one thing? Though? Absolutely. And I don't, I don't know. I haven't talked to him yet. But you know, Tennessee, the county's right here. Okay. Sorry. No, well, I'm you can clearly it's see it's here. Alabama. I know. So, okay. Officer Ziegler, you made a mistake. You had no legal right to pull us over. So well, you violated we'll their Fourth that. Amendment right. I'll look into that. So thing as far as in no. Alabama. Sorry, brother. Yes. Correct. So. I'm saying once they figured out. All right. So is it normal? On a routine traffic stop with a plate via with a plate cover violation to have six officers respond. What's going on? It's possible, yeah. Okay, and to have my live stream playing in the background, do you find that coincidental? Uh, it's, it's, it could be coincidental. It could be coincidental. Come on, man. I, you I, got stripes. I'm sure you do better detective work than that. I'm just telling you, man. I don't, this I don't is know retaliation. The story. I just got out here, so yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah, the yeah. whole story about. That's so, cool. I'm gonna come down just so I can verbalize okay. better what I have to say, and I think it's pretty fair, so I don't have to repeat myself. But we're at your PD filming. A plate Why cover. Why are we filming at the PD? I'm just curious. I'm sorry? Why are we going to film at the PD? I'm just curious. You know what? I normally don't answer that question, but I'd love to. Okay. Because. Hold on. The 600 people watching want to find cops like these morons. They pull people over, violate their oath for no reason when they have no probable cause. And this is exactly why we do this. Note that it had been more than 30 minutes since the initial pullover. The female passenger was feeling very unwell at this point, so Mr. Josh decided to head on his way without filling out a complaint form there and then. You guys gonna give me a uh, you guys gonna give me a complaint form? The only reason I'm leaving is because my friend's not feeling well because you guys scared the shit. Out of her. All right. So how about this? This is the biggest one I've done so far. You're you're all right. This is not directed at you. Take care of this. You're covering from a little bit. I don't appreciate it, but you're all dismissed. Take off our badges. Honor your. Do you know what the First Amendment is? Gonna, she, she, How about this? You're all dismissed. Get the up out of here. Don't change the story. Yes. Ultimately, no updates were made on whether Mr. Josh filed a formal complaint at the police department after this incident. But regardless, it goes to show how some ambitious officers are ready to go the extra mile and violate people's rights out of retaliation. Hence, it's important to remain aware of your constitutional rights. Be sure to check out our previous video where we cover another outrageous police encounter.